Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for another Matchbox Monday. So, something uh, different this uh, this week. I've actually got a Matchbox box kit. Um, quite excited when I found this one. Yeah, I know it's sad, isn't it? Um, I have built this particular uh, kit twice before. Once when I was a kid and then once again about 10 years ago. After I finished the one 10 years ago, I put it together with some other built kits and I passed them on to um, um, a shop owner who sold model kits and basically said to him that he could uh, perhaps use them as a display. He could hang them from the, the bay window of his shop and it would be like a bit of an advert for um, the, the fact that he sold model kits. I also said to him that if he wasn't particularly bothered about using them then just to get rid of them and that's what he did um, when I went into the shop about a month later and I didn't see any of my kits hanging from the ceiling of the bay window I just um, inquired um, you know were they no good and he says that the builds were, were quite good but he none of them that uh, I'd given him he actually sold so if people came in expecting to buy the kit they saw hanging in the window they wouldn't be able to which is a bit odd um, as I say I thought it would just be a good idea to for him to have a bit of a display but there we go so as you can see this is uh, the Sky Servant 172nd scale um, this is a three colour kit and there's something quite special about this particular box matchbox kit um, I think it's the first time since uh, I was a kid that I've come across it and I'm very excited about um, seeing it so let's get the box open and have a look at it so as I say this is a three colored kit and just look at those wonderful colors a lovely dark brown a white and an orange um, let's have a look at the sprues separately and see if we can find the PK number it, I actually see it there so I'll bring it closer so that's um, PK is that 107 yep PK 107 um, so quite a few seats there for because this was like a transport type aircraft small transport type aircraft we'll have a look at the box back of the box in a bit and it'll show you the, the two variants that you can do here's the white plastic um, lovely shape to this aircraft and it was unusual for me as I've mentioned before for me to have um, this type of aircraft when I was a kid I'd much rather have it, uh, something with uh, rockets bombs and machine guns and and here's the uh, lovely orange that's all the wing section and you've got the interior where the seats go so I think we've got there made in England and again repeated PK 107 the fantastic matchbox instruction sheet oh there's the decals not looking too bad hopefully they won't crack up on me uh, Looks like we get a pilot with this as well. I think I must have missed him. And we get two pilots. And quite a straightforward build as you can see. I think step number eight is the last step. And this is what I used to like about uh, the matchbox instructions. I think I may have shown you on a previous one uh, where you got um, a list of other uh, sorry other kits in the series um, so we've got 1 to 26 which is aircraft then we got vehicles 71 to 80 and then we go to series 2 aircraft which is um, 101 to 110 so I used to love pouring over just the that list and uh, I would select one and I would <coughs> excuse me I would um, tick off the ones that I've got 
So here's the two variants you can make, the Federal German Navy, Naval Air Squadron Kiel, Holtner, or Holtner, 1972, and then Swedish Red Cross Flying Doctor Service, Fernando Poo Island, okay, Nigeria, uh, 1969. Um, I suppose the Swedish Red Cross one would be the easiest. I have done the top one in the past um, on both occasions I think so uh, just one last thing to show you I'm oh, sorry two two things to show you here's the um, here's the clear part and then the uh, pièce de résistance uh, for this particular box uh, this kit and as I say, I have not seen one of these for a very, very long time, and I'm so glad to have one. And that's the base that uh, Matchbox kits uh, of, sorry, the aircraft. They came with one of these. Um, and I have been looking forward to getting one of these in my stash for quite a while. And it was only when I got the box out of the loft and I could see through the clear window in the back of the box that I saw this and I was just over the moon. Um, so many um, hours of fun putting my aircraft on the, on these stands. What I liked about them was um, you got the ball joint. Um, so you put that cap on there. That's the part that's uh, slotted into the base at the bottom of the aircraft, sorry. And because it was a ball joint, you could twist it and turn it and having the aircraft in different positions and uh, as I say I was a fun just um, just putting my aircraft on those stands so there we go guys another Matchbox Monday um, PK 107 uh, I've got to be honest I'm losing track as to which ones uh, which PK numbers I've got I'll have to um, Perhaps I'll use the uh, uh, photocopy, at least that uh, instruction sheet, and uh, and score some of the ones off that I've uh, either built or got in my collection. Thanks ever so much for watching, guys, and uh, I hope all your builds are going well, and that the plastic is behaving itself, the glue is staying where it's supposed to be, and not all over your fingers and over bodywork and things like that. And I'll catch up with you soon.